Our estimating department provides a lot of value for the clients from day one. They spend a lot of time diving deep into the projects, understanding it, where money can be saved, where changes can be made. They're really the first look at the project. With us, we do a lot of what we call design assist, right? So we're working with the client and the design team up front from that concept phase, and we're making suggestions along the design process to help keep that project within budget. Probably biggest challenges that these guys have is managing their own schedule. I'm constantly coming in with new projects, new budgets that we need. They've got to be able to make sure they're putting the appropriate amount of time into each project and hitting the deadlines. Breaking down the whole project step by step, figuring out what it takes and what it's going to cost to do each and every step of the way. First, they get a set of plans. They just see a drawing of a building. They have no idea what that's going to cost. We put a number of value to that. That's a very big thing for us. We want to make sure that we're always working with qualified subcontractors. They're going to know the intricacies, whether it's a product, a specification, or methods that are going to be able to give us the result maybe the design team or owner is looking for, but at a value proposition that is more amicable to the owner. If the subcontractor has done a project that is similar and was successful, that's a key sub. We want to use him. Repeat subcontractors are very important to us as well. It means that they are going to help us be the most successful. It's important to make sure you've got a relationship with the different teams that you need so you can get the pricing out of them. If you've got to make adjustments or get recommendations from them, without a relationship, it's going to be real difficult to get that.